of politics, the Republican Party is reportedly working on a plan B. According to the Washington Post, more than 20 Republican officials and leading figures in the party convened this week to di discuss what to do if Donald Trump remains the front runner when the convention rolls around. The consensus was that the party needs to prepare for an outright floor fight or a brokered convention as it's called. So it's time for a little history lesson here on Fox Business. A brokered convention is when no single candidate has a sufficient number of nominating delegates to become the presidential nominee. Hasn't happened since Thomas Dewey was nominated in 1948. The GOP also hasn't headed into the convention without a clear leader since back in 1976 when Gerald Ford narrowly defeated Ronald Reagan. By the way, both these times the Democratic nominee ended up beating the Republican and taking the White House. Let's bring in Fox Business senior correspondent Charlie Gasparino, Fox News contributor Julie Roginski. Well, this is fascinating, but it, it also looks like the GOP might be ganging up on Donald Trump behind his back. Boy, I'll tell you, if the voters in the Republican Party give Donald Trump basically enough delegates to be the nominee and you have the establishment getting together and saying no no let's have a broker convention withhold some delegates uh, I don't think the Republican Party has super delegates the way the Democratic Party does but nevertheless if they try to screw around with that they're really telling the, their own base and their own voters you don't that, they're, that you don't matter and if I were Donald Trump forget Donald Trump if I were a Republican voter I'd be furious look I'm no fan of Donald Trump but if he's the not he's got the delegates he's got the delegates Charlie the will of the people um, you know the market is off 340, what was the last thing? Well, 311. 311 points. Uh, the Federal Reserve is going to raise interest rates in, in, in the middle of a credit bubble bursting that's going to probably make next week look insane. That is the story right now. It is not Donald Trump. Donald, here's the thing. This, all this stuff on Donald Trump is going to pale in comparison to when we really have a recession. Well, it's if certainly, we, it's we certainly what the candidate should be focusing on right now, I mean, which is what Fox Business did in our last debate right. and what we'll do in the upcoming debate. Right. This is serious. Listen, I, you know, two stories here. You know, the Republican Party is worrying about Donald Trump when the world is falling apart. And let's face it, we are working into uh, that number is so scary right now. And if you know anything about the markets, you call up a few people. We have right now stuff that Carl Icahn, Jeff Gunlock, basically said six months ago. Credit markets are overvalued. There's going to be a selling. There's a hedge, a big hedge fund that liquidated. Third Avenue. Third Avenue. Yeah. Uh, when that happened back in 2007, there's a similar hedge fund that liquidated as well. You had a financial crisis. I'm not saying there's a financial crisis. But if you're the average investor at home, you're looking at this, you should be really scared and not worry about how it's Julie, does the battle with this, this GOP group that the Washington Post has pointed out meeting along with Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, and all of this discussion, does that help Hillary? It certainly does, but I will say this to you, to your point, Charlie, if we end up having a recession, which you it's are basically hurt it's yeah. going to hurt Hillary, and if terrorism continues to be the number one issue for Republican voters, and ultimately for all voters, it hurts Hillary, well, the problem is going to be for the people in Washington who gathered to try to get rid of Donald Trump. Voters, Republican voters, trust him more on the economy and on terrorism. And, and then, what, and and then what you get is the so-called down ballot effect. Yep. All of the other races, whether it's Senate, gubernatorial, House of Representatives, on the Republican side may look and say, well, you guys at the top can't even figure out who's going to lead. This is serious. Let me say this. If I'm Kelly Ayotte in New Hampshire, or I'm John McCain, for that matter, who's up in Arizona, or Mark Kirk in, Chicago, in Illinois, who's already in deep trouble, Rob Portman in Ohio, all of them are up next year, I am frantic about what I'm hearing right now. Charlie? Yeah, um, I don't think they have to worry as much as you do. I, I think that statewide, and I think um, you know, legislator, legislatures, you know, House of Representatives, Senate. I think they're okay. I, I think they can decouple from from Donald. I think bigger. You can run against Hillary Clinton on terrorism and maybe even the economy. It will be the twofer. I will tell you this: this market is so sc scary right now. And, you know, I don't know how you do this. How do you raise interest rates in the, in the face of a meltdown of credit, of commodities and credits? It always, it always spreads to the markets. And one of the things that Obama, that President Obama could always brag about is that I took this market from six to where it is now, 17. If you have a major correction, he can't do that, and neither could Hillary Clinton. Charlie Gasparino, Julie Roginski, thank you very much.